Yo, let me tell y'all something. Having money don't make you a real nigga. It don't make your opinion more valid than anybody. It don't make you more intelligent. None of that shit. It damn sure don't make you a public speaker. I noticed that social media create created uh, an abundance of fucking black people motivational speakers niggas who have elected themselves motivational speakers they just feel that because they got a few dollars they can tell everybody what's thorough to do um my opinion is this if you're not giving up no real life skills like wallow guy from philly he actually dropped something on you that makes a lot of sense he's doing a lot of positive work trying to combat the um, the violence and shit in Philly. If you're not doing like that, which was actually an original gesture, because after him, all of these other motherfuckers just came out of nowhere, and they everybody get just got some philosophical shit to say. And my opinion is this. I don't want to hear what you're saying out your mouth. I want to see how you living. I don't want to hear nothing that you have to say out of your mouth, because... A lot of times, a lot of these niggas only will repeat their popular opinion. They don't want no static as far as um, standing on beliefs, morals, and values predicated on self. They wait until it's a public opinion and they try to, like, ride on that. I just think that it's pure sucker shit. Me, myself, can't nobody offer me no advice. I seek advice. I believe I mentioned that in the Haitian Jack film. Another man can't tell me what's right and what's nah. Not unless I inquire about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got children that be on this social media and shit all day. Just because a nigga wearing a bunch of fucking chains and shit. Nine times out of ten, it's a good possibility that this shit ain't even real. Don't make him educated and the livest nigga in the room. Pay attention to these guys. Pay attention to these guys. You know what I'm saying? I um one of the most more high pro- profile, I don't know, motivational speakers or whatever, is a nigga named Nino. I can't take advice from a nigga who online getting punched and slapped around and shit. I don't know who made this nigga feel that he could offer anybody some advice. It's a fucking video online of you getting slapped and punched around, my nigga. You can't tell nobody what's real and this is man shit. This is real nigga shit, my nigga. And if I, yeah, man, shut the fuck up, corny ass nigga. Nobody want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not sharing some real authentic dribble that somebody could apply to their life, nobody want to hear nothing from you niggas, man. You niggas be high school dropouts, lukewarm rappers. And that's predominantly why y'all try to take on the identity of being a fucking motivational speaker because you can't win nobody over through your music. So you try to backdoor a motherfucker with this social media shit. You know what I'm saying? Leave that shit to the professionals. We got some niggas who are qualified to be motivational speakers. Cavario, Dr. Umar Johnson, Dr. Wesley Muhammad from the Nation of Islam. There's some guys that's really, really kicking game and should have a podium to themselves. The motherfucking podium is getting too cluttered with all these wannabe ass, thorough ass niggas, man, with these fake ass chains on, rented ass fucking cars and all this type of weird shit that don't make no sense. Do not absorb this shit from these niggas. You heading for self destruction because their reality is not real. The cars don't belong to. How the fuck do a nigga come up with a $250,000 car and he has no fucking music streams? Little or no fan base. Pay attention, man. Pay attention. There's a lot of deception going on online. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Follow me on Instagram, The Real Gully TV. I ain't no motivational speaker. I show you niggas how this shit go. Follow me on Instagram. Follow my career. And you're going to see exactly what the fuck the dribble is about. You're going to see exactly what pursuing and embracing success is about. Don't fall for cheap imitations. Peace.